You know, Ed, it's really interesting when you hear people say that motion and posture really doesn't matter for a person's pain. Uh, Dynamic Disc Designs has been very clever in capturing the mechanics of what we've documented, both in live people and when we create some of these injuries on cadaveric specimens. So when we see a motion segment move like this, and we can flex forward and create hydraulic pressure, you can see in this particular type of delaminated disc, how the disc bulges only when you move forward. But it's all hydraulic behavior. So when you flex forward, it shapes the wedge shape of the disc. And uh, they were very clever because they put my name inside the nuclear gel on this one. So when we flex forward, we see my name move posteriorly as the hydraulic pressure pushes the nucleus to pressurize the back of the annulus. And then when we uh, extend, it moves my name forward as the gel is pressurized forward. So these are uh, very lifelike. It's exactly what we measure. And they're just so clever at capturing the changes in mechanics and elucidating why people have pain and respond to certain types of therapies. And yet other therapies make them worse. But now we're learning why. And when you can show it to the patient, it makes them understand and then makes our job so much easier, doesn't it? Well, it really empowers the patient to show them that the pain is not in their head. And quite often, they're in control. Once they understand the mechanism, they realize what they need to do to avoid the pain trigger and allow the pain sensitivity to wind down its sensitivity. And then they can build themselves up again, as we've proved many, many times in restoring uh, athletic careers. The injury is not the kiss of death if it's handled appropriately. Agreed.